Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we're looking at a pencil. The General Pencil Company's Badger. And this is a standard yellow American pencil. Uh, the Badger is sort of... Um, Oh, I guess I would call it a value pencil by the General Pencil Company in terms of price and compared to some of their other offerings like, oh, say the Semi-Hex, uh, the Cedar Point, uh, the, even um, uh, the Goddess, uh, but this is a hexagonal yellow pencil. As far as I know, only available in one core, and that is a number two. And uh, this is how it comes, or at least how it came to me. Uh, Pre-sharpened, little factory sharpen on there. Not much, you know, this is, I go on and on about these pre-sharpens. It's like, really, why, why are you bothering with this? I guess you can write with it. Um, but you're not going to get far with a point like that. Uh, the imprint, I'm going to let me try to focus here a little bit if you can see it. It might look black depending on how the light hits it. I'm going to try to chain, turn it a little bit so you can see, but it is actually green. It is a green foil imprint here. USA Generals Badger number 310 and uh, there's the grade, number two. It has a gold tone crimped ferrule with a pink eraser. Uh, there are no other, there's a, a very, oh boy, I don't know if we can pick it up here. It's gonna be very hard to see. It's embossed, it just says bonded. Uh, that's the only other imprint I can see on this pencil. Uh, like a lot of general yellow pencils, it's an okay paint job. There's some bleed through of the wood uh, where you think, gee, this really could have used maybe a, an another coat uh, of paint. But, um, you know, it's okay. Uh, it has the famous general semi-hex uh, rounded corner shape. So, it, comfortable. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. It's a yellow a pencil. But, you know, for those of you who uh, it matters, it is one that's made right here in the U.S. of A. in Jersey City, uh, New Jersey, by the General Pencil Company. Um, they've been there since the 1880s making pencils and they're still making pencils. Uh, it does look to be a nice wood. Uh, I don't whether it's cedar or not. It could be. Uh, we're going to sharpen it. I, I'm going to put a, a different sharpen on this pencil. Uh, uh, one more to my liking. Um, and we'll, we'll get a closer look at the kind of wood it is. And we'll take it for a test drive. The General's Badger Pencil. Okay, I sharpened up uh, our Badger pencil here, uh, put a different, a little bit of a longer point on it. You know, I think this might be a cedar wood pencil. Uh, it sure looks like it, and I got a nice smell when I was sharpening it. If somebody knows it different, let me know. But uh, um, uh, that's certainly what it seemed like. Whoop. Okay. Well, 
So first impressions, it's very much a number two pencil. Um, it is a little on the scratchy side. I wouldn't say it's a super smooth pencil. Uh, I've also had scratchier pencils. Um, and it is it reminds me of just a, a, a kind of a standard issue school kind of a pencil. Um, it uh, it is comfortable and the you can see it's not too dark. I wouldn't say it's light. Just what you'd, you know, it's just a real solid number two. You know, I prefer a darker pencil. I'm going to, um, I pulled uh, its cousin here a semi-hex and the exact pretty much the same paint color um, same sort of green foil printing the semi-hex has a different ferrule but um, just to do a side-by-side -side. Yeah, the similarity uh, ends uh, with the barrel. I think um, the semi-hex seems to have a different core. Uh, it's a little, it's not nearly as scratchy. It's a smoother pencil. I don't know whether or not you can tell just by looking. Uh, the semi-hex is slightly darker than the Badger. Uh, it has a darker tone and it's a little bolder. So uh, it is a different pencil, uh, not just one that's dressed differently. It really, the, the cores are different. So we know that now. And I think that's always something you always wonder, you know, with the, it's like what's, you have this, the, the company makes so many pencils and they seem so similar and are they just different names or are they actually different pencils and these two are different okay so let's put some of this down I'm sure you can hear it You know, to me, this is eh, just like a Ticonderoga or even some of the house brand pencils like a, um, a Target pencil up and up. Uh, okay, I'm going to start with, we're going we're gonna to do an eraser test here, erasability test. Um, so let's start with the attached eraser and before we do that we're going to look and see how we smudge and we have a very faint but we do have a smudge drag there a little bit and we'll start with our attached eraser one thing I'll give it for generals they generally have pretty decent erasers on their pencils and um, I would say this one's not an exception. Pretty good overall, I would say. Not bad. Um, certainly better than average for a attached eraser. Now let's try Pentel, Magic Rub, uh, an arch foam eraser. 
How about a pink carnation from Dixon? Okay, it's, it's erasing pretty well. Uh, Mars plastic. What else? We got an art gum here. Whoop. Really crumbled. Um, what else do I want to try? Uh, Mr. Penn. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty erasable. Some better than others. You've got, uh, You've got some shadowing here on some of the erasers, but you know overall, it, 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 I would say on erasability, uh, I feel good about giving it a B plus. Pretty good. Okay, let me. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna try a put a fresh point on here and. Let's do a little bit of writing with it. Hmm. Well, uh, point retention is uh, average. Um, it um, is again a good pencil. Uh, <clears throat> it's not uh, a transformative writing instrument, 
but it is a good value pencil. Excellent wood uh, that it's made out of. Um, uh, fairly uh, centered core. Good attached eraser made in the USA. Um, the General's Badger. Uh, good everyday pencil. So, thank you for spending some time with me during this review. If you like what I do here, please like and share and subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.